just don't stop until I'm home. All uh, right. Here. So, uh, Olerbin? Yes, indeed. Oh, no. I'm being snuck attacked. That's five yep. damage. Ooh. Well, at least, um, oh, right. That My EC is 17. I don't know if I have penalty right now. Um, I so. don't see any reason why you would. Okay. Uh, All oh, right, right. So, look at the initiative. Twig Blight, how dare you? Twig Blight. 12. He's new. Uh, Oh, that's just movement. I still think it's great that Lessons has a negative 92 modifier. Because it literally means you roll less than what you actually roll for some reason. So technically, somebody can roll a 1 and beat your 2 on an initiative for no reason. It's not in the rules. It's just something that could happen. Just because to heck with you. Well, you because most initiative modifiers are uh, the tiebreak is a bonus. I changed my one. That's why I reroll again, because I forgot to click on the token. So I'm down to one. Alright. And seriously, why did you not come here? Come here. That's why. Okay. I mean, if you want to be seriously honest about it, you act, your initiative is actually a two. This made up, not in the rules thing is making your initiative one. I don't think it makes much of a difference. I know, I know. I'm just saying, if you're being honest about it, it's yours is one better than what it actually is for some reason. You can even mouse over. You roll the two, and it subtracts 92 from or point nine two. All right. Are you doing it again? Don't do it again. All right. So the uh, the twig blights should be going first here. So Olerman. Hey, it's gonna try hitting me again, isn't it? It is. You're uh, you're close. Sure am. Uh, as it attacks you with its claws. Yeah, and that is Ooh, a total whip. A gentle breeze. All right, and this one will go after uh, Erky here. And oh, Erky is down three. Not as awful as it could have been. Not at all. Not at all. The skeletons. Uh, Alexander. That's right. Lothal Are protect you? me. Uh, come on. There Coming we go. The system. There we go. All right. So it's uh, smacking at you with its shovel. No, it's not. And praying to the dark gods comes through for you. Well, only one. Only one true god. <laughs> yes. Goddess. No, no, not initiative. Stop that. What if crit failed and got better than you? Ooh. Oh. oh. Oh, nice Erky, you were saying about how that could have been worse. Well, it was. All right, Olerman. All right. I'm going to do uh, what I keep doing, I think. Not going to pop any new abilities just yet. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cast Shalele. I'm going to step up here. And I'm going to hit the Twig Blight. What do you got for me? Let's see it. 13. That's enough to do it. Ooh, there we go. 11 damage. Ooh, that came out hot. 
Yet that is enough to scatter the twig bite into a bundle of random sticks. Wonderful. And then I will actually go ahead and end my movement here. Behind it. Next. And that's my turn. Matt, you're up next. Well, I'm gonna... I guess I can bonus action hide and then you... shoot something. Um, yes. So I'm gonna yeah. just do that so I don't even have to move to get an attack here. Just to try it out. Short bow. Not a hit. This one here? Uh, this one. Did oh, you hide? Worked. I did. He yeah. did. Uh, oh, so I do get the advantage. And You uh, certainly do. Look at that. I mean, technically, don't you get the advantage if it's next to somebody anyway? No. No, he just gets the sneak attack. Yeah, oh, sneak you attack. also get. All right, so uh, seven, seven damage. damage. Oh, wait, I didn't roll a sneak attack. Sorry, that's right. a total of 13 damage. 13 damage, not seven. Yay! All right, and the skeleton falls. Woo! Any movement? Oh, um, I've already bonus action hit. Yeah, I'm gonna um, gonna move down here so I can see a little better. Two, three, four. Yep, I'm done. All right, Alexander. Uh, question: Is this circle actually on the floor, or is that just where you put the tokens when you enter this map? That oh. circle it represents the well okay. the that you that came down. I just wanted to know because if it was like some sort of thing on the ground, I would have assumed it was like a safety do not cross area. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna stay right. No, here. no, it's an explosive rune. <laughs> That's right. Won't kill me. Uh, I hex uh hex blades curse this skeleton right here. Okay. And then shoot it with a crossbow. And then I don't. Then you don't. That's it. I'm done. Oath plays. Go here. And I ta attack the twig. What's that going to look like? Look real cool. With a 10. That's a miss. No, that's it. Dang it, Oath Blaze. I told them you were cool. <laughs> Why'd you lie? <laughs> All right. So the Twig Blaze. Or twig Blight, rather. <laughs> I was going after Oath Blaze. Okay. Power couple. <laughs> twig Blaze. Twig Blaze. Okay, roll it. Nope. Ten doesn't hit? Gee. Oh. Shocking. Mm -hmm. All right, so the uh, the skeleton. Skeleton's going to attack both places as well. Shovel. Well, that didn't go well. Uh, Silverleaf. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do some fancy footwork here. And come all the way around here. Thanks to being a wood elf, I can move 35 and can actually do this. I am now flanking the skeleton. You are indeed. All right, so let's go ahead and give it a whack. It's a 21. That's a good one. need it for six solid points. Anything further? That's it. That's my turn. Matt. Well, uh, just one twig blight left, correct? That's right. And a skeleton. Oh, and a skeleton. Sorry. Um, two, three... Uh, it looks like I'm going to get a sneak attack advantage uh, if I hide bonus action first here. 
uh, and then shoot with my short bow at the skeleton. Oh no, the skeleton's wounded. I'm gonna shoot at the twig blight. All right, what do you got? A twenty-one to hit. That'll do it. Seven damage, and because I hid another maximum sneak attack damage, thirteen. Beauty. All right, and Alexander, you are up. Fourteen. Come on. All right, and that's a hit. Awesome. I'm done. For four. Nat. Wow. Still up. Yeah, they have damage from piercing and slashing. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, all right, I'm going to. Boy, this Wait, looks like a pretty go? good. I thought I did. Yeah, because you went before me, which now doesn't make any sense. Oh, sorry. Oh, they Again, are definitely out of order. Got... I think that's why it's happening. Yeah. What just happened there? So I think it should be Silverleaf's turn. Because if Silver... Nat just went before me anyway, he's had his turn. It was like I, I figured things were over, and it was like, oh, do the uh, do the perception thing. It's not changing. Yeah, I think we just went like backwards for a little bit. That's yeah, it. that's what it looks like. So, so All right, so it's trend, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so I strike at the uh, skeleton. Well, I am flanking, right? Uh, yes, you are. So that's a 22 for how much? Five points of slashing damage. Five points. Of... All right. And that leaves your dead. Poor bastard. Um, yeah, I guess he's going to sm smack Erky. Uh, pose, uh, use protection and pose penal, uh, a disadvantage on that attack. Okay. Ooh, there we go. New ability. Nice. Double nat 20s. And then we can all blame your new powers on that. <laughs> he only died because you're bad. You're bad and you should feel bad. It's your fault. Oh, <laughs> Erky oh. was the true cleric oh, of whatever oh, god oh. that it is you follow. Wow. That oh Silverleaf, you're up. Alright. Uh I'm gonna finish this uh and then help Erky. I think it's gonna be playing here with uh yeah. a smashing critical hit coming out the gate here. Beautiful straight to dust. All right. So, as the uh, as you impact the the skeleton, would you care to tell us what that looks like? All right. I got my uh, shillelagh and my shield up, and I just go ahead and just do a straight smash down through its skull, down all the way to its spine until I hit uh, straight to the bottom, and it just falls apart into two decrepit pieces, like ripping paper. Beautiful. And with that, we leave combat. All right, I'm going to search this room for traps and secret doors. So, all right. Uh, and if you would come here, little gnome, yes. I believe it's my turn to return the favor to you. Favor? Oh, maybe then, can you, lad? I will go ahead, pull out a tree branch, give it a little shake, and pop out ten berries. Ooh. 
a straight 10 hit points, which is better than I could probably roll on Cure Light Wounds sometimes. <clears throat> 10 hit points. And each point. of them is delicious, apparently. Oh, absolutely delicious, lad. Thank you. Feeling better in no time. I feel much better already. Now, as far as uh, as far as secret doors and traps go, I'll take two perception rolls, please. Secret doors, traps. You don't see any secret doors, and there are no traps. All right. Um, and let's uh, check out that exit up ahead. See anything up ahead? I don't. Um, I'm gonna stealth on up ahead a little bit. Stealth one now. Twenty six. You have no idea what we'll find here. I see something, and I report back that it. Some. I sneak back and I whisper to Oathblaze and uh, Silverleaf. Looks like we've got some sort of giant moles or something out here. So I'm going to keep sneaking and find out how many. All right. Report back to us when you want. Okay. <clears throat> Roll, I'm pretty confident in my stealth roll, so I'm going to keep advancing ahead. Um, although I should be looking for traps as well. So I'm going to make an, another trap roll. Not great. All right. One second. There we go. You don't see any of the traps the moles have set. <laughs> Who do you think digs all the pit traps? One more step. Okay, I'm going to sneak back and report what I see. Yes, Nat. Oop, I've stopped because Rule 20 crashed. I report that I saw uh two giant moles of some sort and a hobgoblin oh i suppose they're working with the ones upstairs maybe we should just make some contact or what do you think oath blaze it wouldn't hurt to try well it would but it's a risk of you should be able to <clears throat> i suppose let's go announce our presence careful me now i will go with you I'm gonna hide in the in the rear and oh mold! I thought it was mold. Oh yeah. mold! Sorry, moles. Yeah. yeah, I will attempt to make sure that the moles remain calm as we pass. Oh, you got. I can actually there. speak directly <clears throat> to them, even <throat> Sylvan, for this purpose. Uh, which I should go ahead and just click to demonstrate. I have a new power that we laughed at temporarily earlier. Speech of the woods. Beasts can understand my speech, and I gain the ability to decipher their noises and motions. Most of them lack the intelligence to convey or understand sophisticated concepts, but uh, friendly ones can tell me what they've seen. So now my handling can be augmented with a little bit of what they're actually saying or doing. All right, uh, let's see. So what would you like to say? Uh... Care now, little mole. We're simply passing through. It's not roll, Matt. Matt. Be calm. Uh -oh. Be calm. We, hmm. We're not here for your territory or your food. Or oh, are they rats? I'm sorry. I misidentified. No, actually, is it a rat? They are rats. Okay. Well, the little rat then. Yes. Yes. Little rats. Yes, be calm, rats. We are friends. All right, roll me your animal handling. Okay. Let's see that natural one. Hey, it's 12. 12, uh, 12 will do. They're uh, skittish and, and, and high strung, but they're not necessarily aggressive to you at this point. Mm -hmm. Okay. So assuming that they don't get like orders from anyone. Oh, and there's the person that would give the mortars. He's probably sleeping, isn't he? Oh. 
no. three of them even. This is uh, with a bellow, the hobgoblin, upon seeing you, charges. Everybody give me an initiative. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just going to turn to Oath Blaze and I go, you're not in the wrong. Not this time. Wasn't I wasn't in the last time either. <laughs> Still not in the wrong. Can't believe this guy's name. I mean, to be sure, we'll just put that on your tombstones. Oh wait, what name does he have here? Dingleberry. Oh, it, doesn't, it doesn't show up, unfortunate. Oh, his name is Ballsag. <laughs> <laughs> that is unfortunate. All <laughs> right. Because if we win, it's like, oh, what did you do? Well, we went down to this horrible well, and we defeated Ballsack. I mean, to be fair, it could be worse. You could be defeated by Ballsack. Let's hope not. This is a valid point. I mean, what do I then tell the people that I survived Ballsack and my friends were I'm, killed by Ballsack? I'm just going to Im imagine that his movement rate is slower because of how much it's sagging. Uh, just think that you get to tell all the other kids that you overcame Balsag. <laughs> oh boy. I'm not a kid. I am sort of a kid. Okay. Let's put it guilty. this way, Nat. If we were all on a sinking ship, who's the first <laughs> one who's gonna claim to be a kid? Yeah, you're right. I'm I'm getting on that on that life raft first. All right. Well, to be fair, someone's gonna have to pretend to be your parent. That's me. <laughs> Take any any opportunity you can. Yep. All right. So his ball sag charges you. The uh, the rats see what he's doing and come to his aid. And so, oh no, attractive target, Nat. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, they're my friends now. They discovered Nat. Nat, we are going to uh, bite you. Uh -uh. Well, we're going to try. Ooh. Over 13. That is over a 13. That is Six a 22. Damage. Well, good thing I got extra hit points. Yep. All right. Doesn't pay to be the little guy. Sure doesn't. Oh, the next one misses. That's fantastic. I love how everything love how everything on my screen is going in slow motion, so it's like boom, boom, boom as the dice come down. You know, animated dice can also slow you down. Oh, did you never turn that off? That's a good point. Let's turn that let me turn that off. I never I we mentioned that, that last time. It always slows you down. I feel like turning it on now, just uh watch it happen. If I wanted to watch Dice go, I would just turn the camera down and roll it on desk. Yeah, I'll just like pull out some dice here and start rolling. Oh well son of a gun, look at that. We found the It culprit. works now. Huh, amazing. It was the animations. <laughs> oh please, you're up. Over here and attack one of the rats. Actually, I can move here and attack one of the rats. So I'm adjacent to that. I can use my reaction. So, all right, go for it. A seven does not hit. Nick. Hello. Oh, that's true. Something's happening. Uh, sheesh. Let me. Yeah, surround is going to make his way to heave. If I take a step to the right, am I then flanking the uh, the rat between me and Oath Blaze? Mm, no, it has to be directly across. Yeah. Okay. That's not it? flanking. Okay. Then. You can do sneak attack, but you cannot don't have advantage. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. 
Um, sorry, Fang. Here goes the uh, dagger. No, short sword attack. Sixteen. Hope that hits a rat. That's a hit. And sneak attack. Seven damage total. And the rat squeals and dies on your blade. What did you get? Bite me. Jerk. And uh, I can move, I suppose. I don't think I can bonus action hide from the thing that's right next to me. That seems a little... You need cover for that. Yeah, okay. And how do you have to... By the way, remember, I also have to roll stealth checks as well. Yeah, right. Thanks for reminding me. That, the new bonus action thing is is new to me. Um, I guess uh, if I can fight defensively or something like that. No, I already attacked. Um, I have to remind myself what cunning action does here. Uh, Move, dash. You can dash. You can hide. Dis- I'm going to disengage. I disengage. Is yeah. what I'm going to do. Yeah. Bonus action disengage. So how? So I can just move my twenty yeah. here. Two, three, four. Stop biting me. Welcome back to the room with half the rest of the people that. Yeah. All right. So Balsag is furious and runs screaming. Old age will do that to you. You're telling me. <laughs> All right. So Bal- Yep. You are mine. Uh, bu- 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 He's got you for three minutes. Sorry, I'm not going to use my throat like that. <laughs> for three whole minutes. I already made the uh, the mistake of trying to make a character that was Randy Savage mixed with Ultimate Warrior. I'm never going to do that again. Oh, yeah, the character <laughs> with that boy. Coming. Real hurts. Oh. All right. And, uh, Balsag smacks you with his club and laughs. You're up, Alexander. Uh, hold on, see what happens if I move right here. Okay, yeah, I can see him through there. Um, Hexblade's curse on... Oh, no, he's too far away, isn't he? Yeah, he's over twice the distance. I will just shoot at him regular like with a light crossbow. That's a hit. Isn't that Eldritch Blast is a spell or is it a cantrip? Eldritch Blast is a cantrip. Yes. If you're asking why I'm not using it, because light crossbow has better minimum damage. Remember, I was pinging them for like one to two damage with Eldritch uh, Blast, but mm-hmm. I do a minimum of four with the light crossbow. Uh, and that is a really good hit, too. Yeah, 10 damage. Anything further? No, I'm done. All right, Silverleaf, that's you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use my action to transform into a wolf. Ooh, show off. Yeah, I'm big and spooky <laughs> and show off. That'll give me 11 hit points and AC of 13 for right now. Regular wolf or dire wolf? Uh, just regular wolf. It's uh has to be a CR one fourth monster. So not that big then. Yeah, it's it's normal dog size. Oh, now you're not even a wolf. You're a normal dog. It just gets worse and worse all the time. It's like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a normal dog. I'm I'm a skipper. Key. I'm a beagle. <laughs> hey, wait! If you're medium size, then, then <clears throat> I can use you as a mount. This is technically true. I could also turn into a horse. Uh, the slow argument about Nat <laughs> mounting being slow. Silverleaf. <laughs> no. we, we'll get there, I'm sure. Wow, fighting Balsack. Yeah. Somebody pull oh. out that X card. Wait, what did I sign up for here? <laughs> Whatever it was, I'm sure it wasn't this. Yeah. yeah. All right. Just was clarifying. It is, in fact, an action. I am not moving and. Uh, I won't be using a bonus action. So I'm just here, and I am now a wolf. So that's an entire turn. Rat's turn. Uh, are you going to move there? Me? No, I'm no. not moving. No, me? Yeah, I'm, I'm not right. moving at all. Oh, okay. Just waiting for 
Actually, I'll slip over here, I think. That's all. Right turns. All right. So, Grip is going to uh, attack Oath Blaze. Okay. I'm going to scuttle up and uh, take a nip at your ankles here. If it ever wants to do it. One of these days. One of these days it'll show up. I keep hitting it. <laughs> yeah. Um, Critical miss. Critical. Oh, ouch. The moment we all waited for. All right, Oath Blaze, you're up. Is it still there? It's still it there. Is, it's yeah, it's just on a lower layer. So I would suggest One like moving sec. the rat to the back. No, yeah, I'm Never. working on it. I have been. Uh, let it let it attack me because I'm gonna. There we go. As an attack opportunity. Just as a reminder, um, uh, Meepo and uh, and Urkelbot are still back there. Yeah. Um, just in case they got forgotten. No, no, I know they're there. They're okay. in a uh, romantic tryst. <laughs> uh, he missed. Uh, years uh, of war. So I'm gonna swing with advantage. Oh, and points. that's gonna hit. Six points. Every time you guys have worked for advantage, it's always been your first die that has been the best die. Mm. All right. <laughs> All right, for six? For six. Oh, right in the guts. Nat, you're up. Well, this guy just caused a whole lot of trouble here. It looks like uh, I'm going to take a sneak attack at him. Um, if I can bonus action hide against the wall here. And uh, take that step and shoot my shot. So when you make the hide action, as I'm understanding it... Oh, I got a real stealth. Stealth versus their passive perception? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a target number. But I do 15, so hopefully his passive is... That's more than enough to... Right. Shoot my shot. That's... <laughs> 10 is not going to hit. Yeah, it's better. 10 is day. not going to hit. Back in the day, I never played much of the rogue stuff anyway, so I was always in the dark on. Uh -huh. uh, and done. All so, right. Uh, ball sack is going to... The bugbear. <laughs> I just can't keep calling him ball sack, man. <laughs> All right. So Balzik is going to turn around and... Baghand Silver Wheat Leaf with his Morning Star. An eight will actually miss. Yeah. I, you know, I kind of suspected it might. He thought that there was still an elf there. No, it's a wolf. <laughs> All right. And three. He's going to run back up here. Yeah. Uh, attack the attack. Yeah. Take, the, take the attack. Oh, and I'll get one too. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, Jesus. For five points. Five more points, yeah. Bitch, I'll need to roll 1d20 plus four separately. Sixteen to hit. Sixteen to hit? I think they have higher than that. No, but I think your hobgoblins had because they had at least scale mail or plate mail, so that, that's why they were so high. Mm -hmm. Unless this guy has a high dexterity, in which case it doesn't matter. Thank you. Yeah, so I'll wait for the confirmation. <clears throat> the damage. Yes, that's a hit. Okay. So that's that... additional 10. Is that, Ooh, is that a bite oh. or claw? Uh, this is a bite. Additionally, uh, the target must make a DC 11 strength check or be knocked prone if he's still alive. Just to be clear, Griff, are you telling me that you put the ball sag in your mouth? 
<laughs> the ball yeah, round in yeah. your mouth. <laughs> you, uh, and, he, and he bit down on the ball sack. Yeah. You have rode that ball sack to the ground. There we go. Olderman is now a very happy, blood covered wolf. Oh, dear Lord. And just takes a pleasant little seat. He will be like this for the next two hours. <laughs> All right, uh, Alexander. I hold until uh, I see somebody. It's a rat. It's still alive. Oh, is it? I see one that's dead there. No, it's alive. It's just that it's one that's on top of the other. Oh. Multiple rats. Yeah. And that's a A 10 does not hit. Then I'm done. All right. Wait, didn't. What happened here? All right, Silverleaf. Hey. All right. Well, since there's still a rat, I'll go ahead, turn around, and I'll give it a chomp. All right. So this is going to be the same check. Only a seven. That does not hit. Oh, unfortunate. Uh, and I'll just end there. Actually, I'll take another step. I found there already missed, so. All right. Well, With the rat's, rat's going to bite you. He does not. All We're both right. new to this thing. And he's going to flee. Uh oh. That's a another chance to chomp. Thirteen. That's a hit. For seven, and it is must make a DC eleven strength check. <laughs> or die. And tell us how that looks. Just take him in the uh just take him up, shake him around, and just literally throw him twenty feet down the corridor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and with the de- with the death of the final rat, one last squeak rings through the air, and we can leave initiative. Yay! I'm hurt. Oh, lad, do be needing some help? Yeah, I got this rat bit me. Oh, let me see. And with that, Iki starts running up. Erky, not Iki. I'm calling him Urkelbot. 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 So not me, boy. You need some help. <laughs> yeah. Just a little, little tendon to this wound here. I don't know. if I hope I don't get some sort of disease or something. Come on. <laughs> I think my plan in the future will be I'll make some wolf macros. Yeah, your custom name, everything. Yeah, exactly. You gotta make sure that the uh, words all fit in the (laughs) macro. (laughs) It's a lesson that somebody around here hasn't learned. Alright, so Nat Yes Let's heal you, lad. Come on, six. Far. Oh, good enough. Thank All you. All right. And then silver me, leaf me, friend. Or do you do you heal when you change from a wolf? I do yeah. not believe my main form can be healed while I'm in wolf form. My wolf form is untouched. Yeah, I think you go back to whatever hit points you had beforehand. But I also think that any overlap, like if you get hit for more hit points than your wolf form has, it goes to your your previous form. Correct. It will over it will overflow to the original form. Yeah. All right. Time to loot (laughs) Balsag. Time to loot Balsag. Do I roll investigation or perception? What do I do here? Uh, Let's roll a perception check. 
hell's a nat 20? 26. Hey, there it is. You asked for it. There it is. Found it. I thoroughly searched the ball sag. Yeah. Sorry, we're going to milk this guy dry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, no. I'm so glad this Are is Are you back recorded. at the dragging right. conversation now, too? So, uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> So you find two spears, six javelins, a long sword, and a great sword affixed to the weapon rack on the wall. Two spears. Uh, two spears, six javelins. Here. Uh, bu- 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 uh, I'll take the javelins. Oh, there's a long sword. Up against the wall. Oh, great sword. Sweet. I mean, not that I can like lift it, but I'll take the javelins. Why well, was a strength wreck on a great sword? Also, there's a door in this room. There is no strength wreck, I don't think. There's two doors mm-hmm. in this room. Oh, there were doors. I oh, mean, I, I guess I figured that... those were secret doors that I didn't notice. Well, I mean, if they're secret doors, they're shitty secret doors. <laughs> All right, are you guys uh, done with the weapons? Is there a strength breath on a great sword? Uh, let's find out. I get 13, I think. Oh, wait, does it have the two handed property? Yes. Yeah, I believe so. Never mind. Did one of you take the long sword? There wasn't a long sword. I think I was wrong about that. Uh, You're not the one who wrote it, there. though. It's oh. in the chat there. But oh, I'm saying, did oh. one of you take the long sword? No. I'll, I'll write it down, but I'll grab the long sword then. Yeah. Okay, great. Because I need something better than a dagger, and I need something without the two-handed property to um, hex warrior. So I'm gonna check under his bed, Matt, and in the rat nests, and I'm definitely I roll me a perception. Sixty. Sixty. All right, so a box hidden under one of the furs in the ball sacks bedding require, uh, contains 241 silver pieces and 54 gold pieces. Nice. nice find. Gore. See? Always check under the bed. It's also a good place to hide. Uh, I'm going to look in this little corridor up here um, stealthily because I can fit in there probably pretty easily. Up to the north? Yeah. All right. Uh, The quarter to the north goes a few feet before being blocked off by rubble and debris. Looking at it, it's obvious that this cannot be moved. Oh, yikes. All right. So... Uh, yeah, unless we had some sort of move earth cantrip, can't do that. Um, let's check out those doors that I assumed were secret doors and I was wrong. Unless they are secret doors. Like this one next to me. Can you see it? I can sort of see it. Yeah. I mean, yes, it looks like it looks like a door that might be a secret door. The, the, that is not a secret door. Oh, gosh. That, that is a obvious door. Great. My bad before. Um, do perception at it. Check for traps. 14. And also sort of listening at the door, too. I can make another roll, roll there. If you want. Uh, no traps. Um, do you hear some minor activity? There might be a, a couple of beings beyond this door okay um i'm gonna check the other door down here to 24 silence beyond that door okay and not trapped not trapped or locked okay um i relay that to the group and say this do- this way is quiet. That way seem to have um, creatures of some sort beyond it. Uh, 
Olerbin is just going to uh, do a few circles and then just give a light. Oh, right. You're right. You're a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> How about uh, Oathblaze or uh, Alexander? Got any opinions? Erky? I'm just going to go the quiet wave. Oh, for death. Fine by anybody. Oh, all right. Well, then I just want to kick some goblin ass, lad. All right. I'm going to roll stealth and. Uh, <laughs> What's go, going go, on? Go. I'm going to go through this door here on the south. The one to the east? South door. The south. Quiet one. All right. Come on. I told you to get rid of that. Creaking open the door. The slower I do it, the louder it is. I mean, the fact you're describing it as creaking means that your stealth check is uh, disadvantaged. No way, dude. 25. Well, yeah, but if it's creaking, that's a loud noise. You should <laughs> describe it as silently opening the door. It is freshly lubricated, this door. I tell you what. Well, here we go with the sexual metaphors again. Long hallway. All right. Now check that hallway for traps. Roll it up. 20. You notice no traps. By the way, look right. up. Always Remember, always look up. Oh, yeah. How's that ceiling looking? <laughs> that ceiling looks just fine. You see okay. no traps. I'm not even talking about uh, traps. I'm just talking about nobody expects the spiders to be on the ceiling. Well, that that and um, gnomes always look up. They're very short. They're very Gnomes close can't look up. It's kind of a myth. Okay. Gnomes and um, dogs. I'm still going on my stealth roll from down. before, so I'm going to step into this hallway here. All right. Wow. A rift opens here. It's debris-strewn floor two feet below that of the corridor. The phosphorescent fungus does not grow in this rift. The corridor continues past the rift, through the op though the opening of the rift has caused it to shift ten feet to the west. Mm -hmm. A number of two-foot diameter holes riddle the floor of the rift. The smell of burnt earth hangs in the air. Two foot diameter holes. That's weird. I'm going to investigate that. Didn't you just that. see moles in the other room? No, I lied. There were rats. Oh. I, Didn't you just I, see rats in the other room? I did. Yeah, rats can do that too. Yeah, Um, I'm going to just stop and use my ears and see if I hear anything like moving around at the bottom of a bunch of holes here. And your scent. Uh, yep, and I can smell them too, and I have advantage on those checks. What do you? Smell, All right, bro? so roll me those checks. Yeah. Did I treat As you a like a dog? Twenty-three. Dog All dog. right. So you don't hear anything more than a, a faint hiss far off, and the smell of burnt earth assails your nostrils. Hmm. Uh, older Ben the wolf is going to give a uh, little whine and uh, scratch at Nat. Okay. I have noticed you're scratching at me. Take one I'll like damage. make a normal head motion towards like, uh, where did I hear the hissing? Not the bottom of the holes, right? Uh, off to the west. To the west. So I will kind mm. of like uh, make a head motion at that direction and a whine. Okay. I'm going to do a perception check as I stealth down that way. Uh, oh, I gotta do a perception check first. Sorry. Do, do. So many perception checks. Good gravy. All right. What exactly are you looking for? Uh, in this case, you know, keep. I'm basically looking for creatures of any sort. Listening. Um, kind of uh, looking up and around, trying to figure out what made this rift. Uh, well, it does appear to be a natural cavern, uh, a natural occurrence in the earth. Um, the smell, the smell of burnt earth tends to get a little stronger the further uh, southwest you go. Okay. Um, I'm gonna stealth a little bit more. To to hear and have a look, because there's a 
So there's a room here. Unfortunately, my knowledge or my thought process of old D and D books only makes me think of one thing. Uh huh. Purple. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Absolutely. I don't know what you guys were thinking offhand, but. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, this doesn't look like a natural cavern. This looks like something tore that through was, the ground. That was honestly my first thought, too. All right, I, um, I, I highly doubt that's the case, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, that's the first thought that came to mind. I mean, it's like one of the initial uh, monsters that most modules like throw at you for burrowing large hallway-sized creatures. I, in oh. fact, think it was in like one of the be uh, beginner test modules for 5e. I I'm going to sneak back. I'm going to sneak back to S Silverleaf the wolf here and say, mm -hmm. there's, gl there's glowing from one of these holes here. Mm. Um, oh, God, please don't ever change back into a human. <laughs> Never talk ever again. <laughs> this I'm is a pass we don't see from his uh, Wookiee in Star Wars. I'm gonna pass yeah. it on to Oathblaze and see if if uh, a dim fiery glow um, is that was that the hole I was at over here. I'll say the only reason I don't do a Wookiee is because I know down in work. here. Okay, okay. <laughs> then um, yes, that is uh, where I am stealth, and I'm gonna say that there's some from where I am right now. I can see something down there, so mm. I'm gonna I'm basically just gonna sneak back and pass that information on. Uh, can you describe the thing that I'm seeing so I don't say it's a mole? Uh, you haven't seen anything. Oh, okay. I saw a token as I was. Oh, did you? That's not that. supposed yeah. to be there. I've got, okay. What did it look like? Um, what I'm token do you see it look like? Another mole. Like... It's Is it a sturge? Mole. Does it look like a sturge? There's something in there and it's glowing. So my other gonna... thought is that there's holes in the ground, and it's in a cave. Typically, Sturge is coming out of holes. Also, that's a Hackmaster joke. Everything's a Sturge and Hackmaster because <laughs> monster lore is a skill sucks. Fair enough. All right, I am uh, going to declare that this room is suspicious. I might stay on my stealth check just to go in there and do a little look around to see what is making that glow. Uh, real perception here. And I'm willing to yeah, bet. We are source. looking for a tree, so if we find Earth, well, it's the smell of Earth, I suppose. Only a 13. Still on Earth. Good enough. <clears throat> Let me, uh... Somebody swallows gnats. And he's dead. <laughs> I've swallowed plenty of gnats. Ugh. All right, gnat. Oh, come on, where is it? What you see looks like... Can you see it? I can. Okay. Describe um, it for us in the back. Yeah, I'm going to sneak back. I'm taking full advantage of this good stealth check here. Nat, can you hear me? All right, so I, I saw something. It looked kind of lizard, dragon-like, no wings red smells like burning in there and it's glowing wait say that again the first part all red Looks wolves reptilian possibly dragon like but no wings like i don't know much about monsters um could i make a check of some sort i, I don't know what that would be knowledge but... nature yeah Probably. yeah that would be my are you knowledge. describing like serpent like or are you saying like dragonborn like I rolled an 18. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's see that area handout. That's what I'm doing. I know. That's why I saw you. <laughs> All right. And it's like, okay, we're going to get an area handout. It means to pick All up. right. Let's see what's hiding behind that table. Nat, you'll see it in your journal. My journal. Here we go. Dear Diary, <laughs> today I, I saw say, this. Oh, very, very not. Okay, I was only looking <laughs> at his head before. Um, here's, I will describe this creature. Somewhat concerned that you only saw its head. Yeah, no, it's very, very snake-like, very red, and 
um fiery ah, looking very okay. large what size is it oh that's an excellent question so it's Maybe. serpent like colossal yeah it was serpent like i don't medium size before so i said medium size okay so it's yeah but medium red size. and not purple so red at red and yellow all fiery looking with um weird little tentacles all around it salamanders have feet right yes i just just spit all that thoughts not a no, salamander no. definitely snake like salamanders don't have feet do they not nope lower bodies is... nope oh i've seen tell so. okay <laughs> oh i mean there's fantasy actual, sal right. actual salamanders right yes like, okay D &D, it's like Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so um, this thing looks pretty dangerous. How do we want to tackle it, or do we just want to ignore it? Well, maybe we send in an Oathbreaker as a parlay. <laughs> this thing does not look like he it. He seems to love the parlay. I look around so and go like, like uh, who's that? This thing looks like it likes to instantly attack things and oh, cause I fire. Oathbreaker go and talk to it. Because, uh, yeah. Let's well, send Oathbreaker in. He seems to agree. The art of parlay is only matched by one of us around here. Meanwhile, I'll check out ah, Oathblade. We'll check out. Oh, you guys are checking this room too. Okay. Yeah. You want me to check it for traps before you, you know, walk down there and fall into a pit? That would be a good idea. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. I'm going to roll a perception check for this area here. All right. And this appears to be a hallway. Guys, stone walls everywhere. Yeah, that's what a cave usually is. Big news. There's a door at the end, though. Fake news. Do a little perception check for uh, traps and listening. Not Wait, so great. Which way did you see this thing? Um, If you went further down the rift to the southwest. Down there oh, is that where that... Real that squeezy in there? It's uh, don't 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 keep going. Stop right there. I whisper, and stand here and say that right down down there to the south is where this. I think I've stealth stealth pretty well. Did you? No. I feel like I have. <laughs> well, it's on. Yes, a door here. You mean that bird? A door. <laughs> No, I'm not talking to you, Oathbreaker. Again, yeah, I don't know who you're talking to. Let's not talk about the deadly thing, well. Well, I mean, to be right fair, you're there. also down an entire corridor, so we're clearly not actually having this conversation. We're he, just whispering. You just gotta yell. Me and Alexander. Yeah, this thing looks more like a cockatrice right than anything. I don't know what you saw in your journal, but I'm looking at its head, and it looks like a... See, that's why I described it. Yeah, before. I mean, I would just assume it has like a chicken's body. Okay. Well, you want to take that thing on yourself, you go ahead. So we Is got, that yeah. the plan here? No, I just want to see it. <laughs> I'm a curious person. <laughs> All right, let's hope it didn't see you and come after us and, and come at us from behind. I think we should probably take this thing out. Well, I mean, go try and cause a cave in right there. You got a spell for that? Look, not everything is magic. Beg to differ. Yeah, what spells do you have? Um, yep. minor illusion. Oh, wait, you know what I, I could do? Because I could just make, I could use that spell right now. And I could basically make it, make this, uh, make a wall. And we could, oh, and we could attack it from beyond the, the wall. I could basically close this off um, by doing one of these, like making a wall right there. And then we can just kind of shoot at it and it can't see us. It has to come all the way out here. And then you we understand got that we can't see through your wall either. You can if I if I kind of nudge it a little bit. 
So we gotta shoot through a crack. <laughs> oh, the, the whole wall would uh would be you guys would know it was illusion. Also, I... conversely, your wall would only be what, like five by five? Yeah. So how tall is this uh opening? Five feet. So I'm walking like on a real deep crouch, is what you're telling me? Ceilings down here are ten feet. Yeah. Oh. So taller than you, shorter than mm-hmm. us. Mm. So we're all just looking at it, huh? Well, what if Silverleaf turns into like a medium sized snake and goes in there to talk to it? I can talk to it regardless. I think it's sleeping. Right, but if you approach it like a snake instead of as a person, it might regard you as one of its own. I can speak Sylvan now. That's fine, but I'm saying (laughs) if I saw a dog, like a vicious looking dog walk up to me and start talking to me, I would regard it differently than I would if a person started viciously talking to me. Yeah. Yeah, so if a giant snake... It is approaching, so Silverleaf will actually go ahead and step up and uh, give it an assertive bark. Hey, stop right there. Can your tongue form Sylvan as a dog? Uh, The way Sylvan seems to be described here is that animals also speak Sylvan. All right. In an interpretive way. Sylvan is the language of talking animals. Well, it appears to not give a shit about what you're doing, so... <laughs> well, yeah, I was alerted to it here. This isn't quite a sneak attack. No, I'm going to give you a dex save. Okay. Uh, so which thing I'm looking at here? Tail is a hit, bite is not. Alright, so give me a dex save on for the tail. 20. All right, so uh, you manage to nimbly jump out of the way as the fire snake rears back and comes in for the attack. Also, and on that note, numbers, not afraid of this thing. And that note will start up next time, I think, right? Amen. Exactly. On that note, I'm being told that uh, we are at time. Yeah, we did a lot in four hours. You did. And we made nice with the dragon. No, I didn't. <laughs> it, you you it avoided didn't. being killed by it. Yes. Yeah. That's that's exactly what happened. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Well, you got any uh, outro you want to give us? Just great work tonight, guys. I I think y'all did a hell of a job. Uh, really, really wish you would stop parleying with with your enemies. It doesn't do any good. <laughs> but yeah, you guys uh party hard. All right, yeah. thanks for running, and I guess we'll catch you next time. We will be here next week. <laughs>